guys, I'm Magdalena. Hi, I'm Yiwen. Welcome back to Simply Salsa. Today we're going to show you how to do proper crossbody lead. It is one of the basic steps that leads you into the turn patterns and it's also a connective move uh, between turn patterns. And in one song, you probably do how many crossbody leads? Around 50, I would say. So that's a lot. For those of you who already know this move, we're going to show you how to do it better. Let's go! Okay, now we're gonna show you the crossbody lead with counts. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, gentlemen, now let's break down your footwork. We start with the basic backwards. One, two, three, Five, six, on seven. When you go back, make sure you go to a little bit towards your right. So we clear out the way for ladies. Seven, one, open up and face that way. So make sure you, you, uh, you spot that way. Make sure there's nothing in the way when you bring the lady there. And there might be a wall, there might be people dancing next to you. So you have to be sure. Two, don't turn your body yet. But I prefer to point my toe that way because I'm traveling to that direction. Three, turn back. Now you have lady this way. Back to the basic. Five, six, seven. Let's do it again. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, one. Look. Two, point the toe. Three, turn and come back. Five, six, seven. Okay, ladies, your footwork. You're basically traveling in a straight line. The man gave you the way, the right of way. So you're gonna do a basic. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, and you pivot. Step your leg back on three, your right leg back, and finish your basic five, six, seven. Again, one, two, you pivot on your left foot. Step your right foot back on three and finish your basic on five, six, seven. Okay, now you know your steps. Now we're gonna show you how to lead the lady into this move. So first we're gonna show you with the closed position. So gentlemen, first thing first, when we're leading a lady on the closed position, when we're, especially on crossbody lead, this hand is just for decoration. We're actually leading the lady through her back using your right hand. And gentlemen, you will lead this move using your frame and your body and your footwork and there is no pushing or pulling involved. So gentlemen, you know, keep a good friend. Don't do this. It's not, not cool. <laughs> okay, let's start. One, two, three, five, six, seven. As we already tell you the step, so you have to step a little bit to your right side to clear the way. And one, open up and make sure you look that direction. So you make sure the lady is, she has space to travel that way. So um, ladies, in this position, you are still traveling forward. So a lot of uh, ladies tend to do this and turn sideways and walk across. Make sure he's giving you the way, you walk across. At this position, the gentleman and lady is perpendicular to each other. So we're not parallel. So it has to be 90 degrees. Um, two, make sure the lady is still behind you and she's not crossing yet. And then make sure your leg is, your toe is pointed that way. For crossed body lead, it's very important that you guys travel together in one direction as a unit. So one common mistake is the guys actually crossing themselves instead of ladies. So you sometimes on the dance floor you look at people they, they dance like that. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. This is a bad demonstration of a crossbody lead. Don't ever do that. The real crossbody lead is supposed to be travel with the lady to the same direction. So one, two, three, five, six, seven. I'm traveling with the lady as one unit. So I don't ever cross myself. Another common mistake for the girls is uh, the crab walk. Seven and one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. 
So, uh, ladies, you are traveling in a straight line and only turning 180. There's no halfway turns. Also, this often happens. And one in open hand position. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. So you're giving yourself a lot of work. So remember, keep a straight line. Yes. And gentlemen, so another gentlemen, common mistake. Another common mistake is to you didn't get out of the way soon enough, so the lady has to walk around you. It's just not very nice. You have to let the girl feel comfortable. You have to get out of the way, let the lady walk. It's like opening a door and inviting the lady to walk through. Um, the lady usually does a lot of the turning, so you don't want her to work extra hard. You want to keep, give her a nice point of reference and keep a straight line. If you turn her, she's ready for it. So, gentlemen, remember to get out of your way. And what do you ever want to do if you ever want the lady to do something? You gently ask, like a gentleman. So, please don't drag a girl or force a girl and push her around like a puppet. No girl will ever like that. I mean, if you, if you find some girl like that, good luck. <laughs> but you ask. You First, you get out of the way and you invite or ask her gently so no pushing or pulling involved simply open the door and then close the door when she has walked through when you follow all these tips you will have a great crossbody lead so now we'll show you with the music keep practicing and we'll see you on the dance floor